Today, we're working in slow motion, but talking at normal speed. How can I do this? I'm about to show you right now. This is a classic music video effect you've probably seen a million times. The one that comes to mind for me is The Pursuit of Happiness by Kid Cudi. This effect is done to the best degree possible. Plus, this is an awesome song. I can't play it for you because I don't want to get demonetized, but I'll link to it below. If you know, you know this song cuts deep. I do love it. You don't normally see people using this effect while talking, though. It is a bit of a different twist on this effect. So let me show you how we did it. First step was to record myself saying this line at the beginning of the video. Now, to do this, I had to switch my camera settings to 30 frames per second. This is very important. Uh, normally, I shoot in 24 frames per second, but we're actually going to shoot the next portion of this at 60 frames, and I need it to be half of that speed. So 30 frames per second is where you want to shoot your audio. In three, two, one. The other thing you want to do is give yourself a countdown before you say the line. So you're going to say three, two, one, and then say your line. Trust me, you're going to be so glad you did this later. Next, I imported those clips and picked my favorite take. Then I kept the countdown at normal speed, but sped up just the line to 200%. Then I looped that over and over and over. Trust me, you're gonna want many, many, many versions of this line. And then I uploaded it to Vimeo so I could reference it later. All right, next up, we headed into the studio and I set that camera's frame rate to 60 frames per second. This is very, very important. And then I got everyone into position and I queued up my audio from Vimeo on my phone and played it back while I lip synced in double time while we Two, recorded. One. Today we're it took so many takes to be able to sync up my lip syncing with what I was hearing on the phone because trying to speak at double time is much harder than I thought it was going to be. It was really, really hard. So if you are going to do this, I would keep your line really short. And when you do the audio recording, maybe talk a little bit slower than you normally would. Before I show you how I edited all of this together, if you like this video, if you think it's fun, let me know, give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. All right, the next thing I did was bring that video we shot into Final Cut and then grabbed my original audio, retimed it to normal speed and tried to find the cut where my mouth and that audio sync up the best. And that is how we got this result. Today, we're working in slow motion, but talking at normal speed. How can I do this? I'm about to show you right now. So that's how that classic music video effect is achieved. If there are any other effects you see in videos that you want me to try to replicate and explain how they work, let me know down in the comments. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I picked out some other videos I think you might really like. I'll see you again.